Are you looking for a design inspiration for a SharePoint intranet? Then this video is for you. My name is Sabina and I'm from a company called Origami, where I build SharePoint designs, which are now used by almost a million users worldwide. And in this video, I want to share lessons and strategies I've learned over the years to help you create the best SharePoint intranet out there. The examples you'll see today use a standard SharePoint communication site with several origami web parts. Use them as an inspiration and maybe one day you'll even decide to go with origami to save time and push SharePoint beyond its basic shell. Example number one. I'll start with an example of the most popular SharePoint intranet homepage design. How do I know it's the most popular? because over 80% of our customers choose this design over any other for their intranet homepage. So what makes this design so special? Let's start with its bold navigation. It's hard to miss this navigation. And look at this. If I click on the top label, I see descriptions below each of the items and I can even drill down here so I can jump right to what I need in seconds. Next, is the news carousel that welcomes employees by name and shows the latest company announcements like this video message from our leader. And right below it, before I even need to scroll, I see the list of links to the most popular tools I need for my work. What else? How about this forms and templates directory? You know, we found that forms and templates make up the most searches on the internet. So why not make it easier? Here, I use the web part called Origami Finder that looks for documents in specific libraries and lets me preview files without even leaving the page. The best thing about this Finder web part is that it can combine multiple libraries in one view like this, and it respects all the permissions you have in your SharePoint. Want to make your SharePoint a bit more social? Why not make space for shoutouts and kudos? I love Origami Kudos web part because it allows me to recognize coworkers or a group. It's so easy to write a simple message and the recipient will get an email notification right away. How about that? Now, we already have key announcements at the top of the page, but what about other company news and events? This section starts with a calendar that brings together events from multiple places like Microsoft Groups or SharePoint calendars and lets you pick a date or a range to view and register for an event. Right next to the calendar, we have a new center web part. Here you can see past announcements broken down into categories and you can even like or comment on news posts right within the page. Below, I have my KPIs to align everyone in the company around common goals. And wrapping up this homepage, we have employee directory. In fact, employee directory is one of the top web parts seen on the intranet. This origami staff directory web part lets you search for a colleague by location, department, or keyword. So overall, this design has easy navigation, engaging social, news, and a robust search. Example number two. How about this SharePoint intranet homepage design? The video makes it stand out immediately and it looks so much more alive. This web part is actually a rotating carousel for major announcements and right below it, I see a list of frequently used resources and links before I even need to scroll. Here is also a similar example, but this time the buttons are floating in midair right above the lake image. And by the way, you can have any image or buttons you like here. It's so immersive, it feels like you can touch the buttons and feel them. Below, I have Origami Finder web part I showed earlier that's connected to multiple document libraries and lets you preview the files right as you search. Now, because we're using this huge banner carousel at the top, you might want to show additional resources right below it, like I'm doing here with this Origami Post Carousel. 
You can make it out of play and link it to pretty much any resource inside or outside of SharePoint. Next, I'm showing my new center web part, which I talked about earlier. This is the perfect place for employees to learn what's happening around the company and sign up for the events. And to wrap it up, I have this FAQ web part to help employees get answers to the most common questions. And if there's anything not listed here, employees can always submit their question to the feedback box, which can help build FAQ further. Example number three, employee onboarding page. Fun fact from my experience, most companies build their intranet when they are growing. And that means the intranet needs a place for new employees to onboard. That's why this design example is at the top of my list. What I like about this SharePoint page is how it has this getting started video right at the top. What a nice touch to welcome new hires to the company and the leadership. Below, we have onboarding specific quick links so that new employees can get right to the forms, tools, and applications they need to complete or register for. Things like tax forms, benefits portal, LMS, and so on. Next, I use Origami News Center to show new hire welcomes so new employees can see who else has joined and which team they're on, training events, and HR newsletter. And here I have company handbook grouped by topics. What a difference compared to a long page someone would have to scroll through. This is Origami's tabs with cards web part. This handbook format almost looks like Netflix feed where I can jump right to the topic I'm looking for and narrow down my search in the topics such as benefits, training, or enterprise apps. You can change the format of the text and list as many links as you need, which saves you lots of space. I think you'll agree with me that being a new employee on the first day or week can be so overwhelming, so many questions, and guess who is going to be answering all these questions? Your team in HR. So why not save everyone time by showing an onboarding roadmap right here? You can simply use text web part for this, but I prefer origami tabs web part to organize my onboarding stages by tab like you see here. Each tab here shows a stage in the onboarding journey. What I like about origami tabs web part is that it comes with a comprehensive text editor, so you can use tables, images, hyperlinks, you name it. The end result is so much cleaner, don't you think so? Okay, we know new employees always have questions, but who do you contact for which question? Simple, use this contact card's web part. Here you can hover over the card, you can see contact information and the type of questions this person can help with. This can make any SharePoint page more complete and interactive. Example number four, learning and development page. Lots of companies have training resources, but not all of them have a LMS system. So SharePoint often becomes the resource for the training. I've got my splashy banner right at the top to tell me what this page is all about. This is using origami header web part, greeting employee by name. What I like about this design is this quick links. These are the same origami quick links I showed earlier, but with beautiful branded icons to help you instantly find the application you're looking for. Learning and development pages are usually text heavy, so I organize the page in a way that it's easier to read. For example, I have my training broken down in three parts required training, new employee training, and online courses, each sitting in its own tab for easier access. This way, if I've been with the company for some time, I know I need to complete required training and I can access it easier. Now, what about training workshops? I can simply sign up for the workshop I'm interested from the calendar of training events here. This calendar is an origami calendar web part that lets you see what's coming up and RSVP to attend. Employees often want to have some clarity about how they can upgrade their skills and grow their careers. 
So this is why here I have a section listing skills and certificates needed to progress to the next career level. I can easily pick the level I am in right now to confirm that I am up to date with my certifications and if I want to become a manager, I can see the certificates and training needed for that role. I can organize this in minutes with origami tabs with cards web part. And it's so easy for employees to understand. And that was the learning and development page. Now let's move on to example number five. This is an example of a SharePoint page where search is the main reason employees come to the site. Think knowledge base with IT resources or training manuals or SOPs. This search connects to specific document libraries and allows you to search within these libraries only. This narrows down the search result to specific content you came here for. You won't see some random articles that match the search criteria. This is origami search banner web part. Example number six. This is an example of the department page like an HR landing page. The welcome banner here welcomes employees by their name, it's bright and prominent. And the clean background makes these quick links pop so it's hard to miss them. I'm still using my news center in events web part below to highlight department announcements and events. But there is also something new here, team anniversaries. This is an interactive web part from Origami that is perfect to highlight employee milestones. It's connected to SharePoint list and automatically shows upcoming celebrations so no one is forgotten. It took no time at all to build this page. If you look at the last video on this YouTube channel, you'll see exactly how I built this SharePoint page step by step. Here is another SharePoint department page example of how all the web parts from before are combined to create a totally new landing page. I like how this design is so sharp and professional and has all the key elements a department page should have. This was my example number seven. I hope now you're full of inspiration for your own intranet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.